Welcome back to Thought Experiment Month with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series on skeptical scenarios with a brain in a vat. So imagine that there's a scientist and he has your brain in this big vat of stasis fluid. And he has these complicated tools that he's using to mess around with your brain. And basically what he does is he uses the tools to simulate an environment. In fact, the environment you see yourself in right now. He uses the tools to make you think that your senses are giving you messages and so on and so forth. But the scientist also has the ability to mess with your reason, just like the evil deceiver did. He can see your brain making some reasoning process and go in and fool around with your neurons so it doesn't quite work out. The scientist, just like the evil deceiver, can make your reasoning correct or incorrect as he chooses. The key advancement from the evil deceiver with the brain in the vat scenario is that while the evil deceiver is something that's more supernatural and something we might not believe is really possible, the brain in the vat scenario is something that might actually exist in a hundred years or so. So it's a little more plausible for a lot of people, and so it's a little more convincing. It's kind of an updated version of the evil deceiver. Before we go, let's take a quick look at the four experiments we've looked at so far. Dreams, your senses are still dubitable, but your reason is untouched. The same with the Matrix. The Evil Deceiver, however, both senses and reason are dubitable. And Brain and Vat, both senses and reason are dubitable. It's just a little more probable. What about the Cogito? I think, therefore, I am. That's a topic for another video, which I'm hopefully going to make soon. So I'll leave it as a question mark. That was a Brain and a Vat. Next up is the Experience Machine, followed by the Duplication Argument, followed by a Dream Within a Dream. Watch a new video every single day this month at carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.